Welcome everyone. If you are returning from our morning stream, it's good to see you again. If you're checking in for the first time today, welcome. Today's match at Delaware Valley University is sponsored by Simply PHP for all your PHP needs. If everyone can give a warm welcome. Hey, how are you doing? How's it going, guys? I am phenomenal today. Just got done uh, teaching a class and now I'm here. Very excited to commentate on the finals of the assembly match uh, between two of our players at Delaware Valley University. Right, uh, we have a room code for everyone who would like to get involved and vote on today's match. That is going to be I-Y-Y-R. Once again, you come vote, affect the outcome of the match. Just go ahead and sign in below. Uh, remember to check us out on YouTube, Twitch, and if you like to play, it's blackrocket.com forward slash esports. Players are live right now in the drafting phase. All right, players are selecting. We have somebody in here right now. Let's see, I don't see our second player at the moment. Maybe we are just watching a warm-up right now. Maybe so, maybe so. <laughs> maybe we'll see. Um, so tell me, uh, out of out of all the games that you've seen, what is uh, what do you think is the most common uh, uh, object yeah, that gets I, thrown out there? I would say the spikes. And the reason why I say that is because you can hide the spikes behind some of the items in the match. So if you see like those toxic barrels, sometimes they clip behind. It is... Uh, it's a good tactic because in the heat of things, both players are running around trying to go very fast and all of a sudden they hit a spike, they're sent back to the beginning. Right, yep. absolutely. Um, I think uh, in the classroom today when I had uh, the kids watching an earlier stream, uh, they mentioned a lot about the uh, this little ant guy over here. I'm not sure. Too, yeah, I'm not too sure what his name is exactly, but um, they seem to like the fact that he could not only run around on the ground but also fly throughout the air. And a couple of the kids had a really neat strategy where you could have like them alternate and maybe fly past each other to make some jumps really tricky. Yes, our robot is powered by jetpacks. He is able to fly laterally throughout the map. Factory is a is a good map actually for the robot. There's a lot of freedom, and if you're interested in cutting down your opponent's movement the robot could be a good choice just like the bat same uh, same premise both laterally moving flying obstacles all right so it looks like we're getting right into the build phase here uh we can see someone placing some uh flying robots down in the bottom left here gonna try to block off entrance to that gem there we see another one in the middle from nathan uh, looks like we're seeing Sean placing some spikes on the top left side here of the map. Definitely going to be really tricky to get up that side, especially if wall jumping is their option. Yeah, so going right for those robots, as you said. Let's see if we can... There's a lot of them, actually, now. Ah, here we go. Okay, so yeah. the tackle between Nathan and Sean's building strategies right now. All right, so Nathan's off to a slower start. A little more modest build right now. We're just going to have a couple of robots placed down a bat. Um, but remember, we are playing normal match. So if you were watching earlier today, we were in gem race. Right now, in normal mode, we are going to see both players compete on Nathan's level, and then Sean's and um, total score get tallied after that. So that's what we're doing uh, for this tournament. Let's see, what are we, who are we spectated into right now? Nathan. I see more bats. I haven't seen... Do we see the spikes being hidden anywhere? Um, I don't do see, see any out? hidden spikes, but it looks like he's definitely trying to... Uh, put some pressure in that one area in the sure. middle to the right side with that one gem. Other than that, the board does seem kind of bare at the moment. Right. That's okay. Wow. Wow. Sean, We're completely opposite. Almost flying robots everywhere. Yes, almost approaching its build limit there. Uh, difference, once again, in normal mode is all of these gems are going to spawn. So you can kind of plan your strategy around it. It's not like gem race where there's just a, the gems have a chance of spawning. Uh, this is a little bit what I was talking about. I guess this barrel isn't one of them, but usually these spikes can kind of hide behind the right, like those right. barrels there. And um, that was that was shown to us by Sean, who has reached the build limit. And it looks like uh, his building strategy is definitely some sort of aerial uh, aerial superiority, if yeah. you will. Um, he's got a lot of these robots around, making sure to cover as much ground as possible. But that does mean that the most of the ground will be safe to maneuver on. Let's just go ahead and check back in with Nathan, taking his time. 51 seconds, so players are, are not rushed. They don't have to do this as quick as possible. They can use all the time they want, and uh, I encourage them to do so. It gives them a little bit of an idea. They can memorize the map. Remember, they have to... Uh, maybe it's going to be different, the blocks that are put down, but the core map is still the same. So right. if they can memorize that and get a feel for where those gems are going to be, it's going to give them the advantage. They're going to be able to move through the map much more smooth and get to those gems as quick as possible. I like how we have a uh, 
a uh, blower enemy down here or is that a vacuum i'm not yeah too we sure. have a vacuum down there which you know it might be able to be accessible uh, avoiding those spikes if we were to jump off the platform to the left right grab on we can wall jump gotta watch out for those spikes up there too so that's a good that is a great gem uh great items there to protect it and i think we'll, we'll have a great time when uh we see players going for that so all right let's use maps up first <clears throat> Should be able to tell. We see all those robots flying around. <laughs> I think that was Sean's. That was really going in with those flying enemies. Oh no! Thought I saw one out of the corner of my you eye. Saw one. I'll I'll blow it out here. We'll see. All right. Oh, so okay, it actually so, yeah, looks yeah, like right, sure, we're on sure. Nathan's now. It looks like both of them are uh, going to try to go for that bottom left gem here. Um, right, we're gonna have to. I would like to see one of them jump off the platform to the left, like we were talking about, and see if they're actually able to grab it or not. Yeah, it looks like. Um, Nathan might be taking a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a page out of Sean's book, trying to go for some of the latter half gems in the stage. Maybe going to be taken over by some of his own play, a tra uh, placement of the traps here. Yeah, Sean's able to grab that first gem. Nathan still behind, but has plenty of time to go make up for this. We'll take a look. This is some of that wall jumping that we were talking about earlier. You don't want to spam it as quickly as you can. There's actually a rhythm to it uh, and timing to be able to get the most efficient jump possible. Uh, we have Nathan grabbing his first gem, so tied up, Sean and Nathan at one to one. But the time, if you notice, if you get gems earlier than your opponent, you're going to be awarded more points for it. So the quicker you can get to those gems, the better better chance you're going to have at that level. So now we're seeing people go for that low gem. Wow, that's that's Whoa. really tough. That vacuum is really going oh, for it. Oh, looks like but, wow, Sean. Sean finally got it. Now both players are going to be forced to head to the uh, the extremities of the map here to get the other remaining gems. Yeah, if we get four gems, we'll unlock the end gem on the right-hand side of the screen. You can see that. Uh, you'll get a lot more points if you're actually able to grab that one as well. Looks like with only 10 seconds remaining, can anyone make a final clutch play? Not going to look too possible here. Yeah, Sean still has a lead right now. 1455 to 485. That's round one. Now we're going to switch. We're going to play the other map. And we're going to see, remember, you can make it up. The quick gems are going to award you way more points. So even though even though we have uh, Nathan behind right now, there's absolutely no no, uh, no way he, he can't get back into it. Immediately going to sprint down there and grab that first gem. Both players getting a huge amount of points. Yeah, that was uh, much easier to get without uh, that vacuum there and the spikes over top. Both players went for that gem right off the bat. Absolutely. It looks like uh, both players now trying to figure out where some of these flying enemies are uh, located. Definitely going to be a huge threat when trying to figure out where the rest of the gem, available gems are. Uh, now we're lights seeing out. lights out. Lights out affects us too. <laughs> we can't. We also can't yeah. see uh, for the most part here. Now we're heading back in. Nathan sees that gem up there and it looks unguarded. He should be able to go over to the right. Hey, here, perfect. And now we're going to wall jump up All and right. grab both of those gems. A quick grab. Nice point bonus for him. Okay. Unfortunately going to yeah. fall for our death here. And now we can take a look and see just how close these players are. Really too, not too much of a point gap here. We're seeing Quake come back in again. If Nathan can get another gem, he can get to that big gem and get a huge point bonus and possibly get himself back in this game. There it is. It's available now. He grabs, he grabs his fourth. Take a look in here. Let's check on Nathan. Let's have all four. He should just Hopefully be going for that he... end gem. I'm not sure if he spotted it or not. Yeah, I'm not sure if he remembers where Both it players, is. All four gems. Only five uh, only seconds four. left. Doesn't look like any player is going to be able to grab that end gem. Yeah. But, uh, Sean, wow, Sean taking another win there with about 500 points on the lead. Um, and it looks like that is going to wrap it up. Yeah. So nice, quick afternoon match. Just want to remind everyone uh, that we also have our Battle Royale streams tomorrow. Two of them. So tune back in for that. And as always, come check us out on YouTube, Twitch, and if you want to play yourself, blackrocket.com forward slash esports.